Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Grill Nation show. Thanks for joining us today on KMBZ 980 AM or on podcasts. We're on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher. We're all over the podcast world. Also, we are on uh, grillnationshow.com, which is our website. If you want to check out any of our old shows or guest information, go to grillnationshow.com. And I want to thank those who are joining us today on the live stream. We are taping the show this week at a different time. So uh, we'll see how many people are up uh, bright and early here on a Monday to, uh, to watch us on the show today. Very excited about our show today. Before I get to our show and our guests, I just want to thank those who have reached out via email uh, throughout the uh, last few months to come on the Grill Nation show, to partner, to collaborate, uh, to share their stories. Of course, we love to hear from you. Uh, and I want to let the listeners know you can connect with me anytime on, on Twitter at Jason Grill and at Grill Nation Show. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn at Jason Grill. We post sneak peeks of all our shows as well as all of our uh, uh, guest information on my social media uh, each and every week. So I appreciate you following along and uh, sharing that uh, as we continue to grow and uh, uh, the, the show footprint and uh, hear from more and more great guests. And today we're going to have another great guest on the show. He's joining me today on the live stream and as well on the podcast and radio. Uh, Tim, welcome to the show. How are you? Why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, Mocan Goodwill is the website, mocangoodwill.com. Uh, is that wrong? Dot org, actually. Dot org, excuse me, yes. Dot org for those looking on our screen, mocangoodwill.org. Uh, Tim is the uh, director of uh, contracts and services, correct? That's correct. That's correct. So, uh, yeah, Tim, tell us about yourself. Yeah, so first of all, thanks for having me on. Uh, this is great. I've, I've, uh, I've, I've viewed the shows and and uh, have watched some of the stuff. And I think what you're doing here is fantastic um thank you we so, like to hear about that and what, yeah. what you're so, doing is a lot more important than goodwill so i'm excited to talk to you about uh what you're doing i mean what you guys have done just from a, a perspective of being out there in the community i think has just been really impactful and exciting so i'm excited to learn more about you as well so why don't you start there tell us about yourself tim because i've never met you in person before but I, but i've heard about you sure sure absolutely yeah, so so my background, I, I um, I've been uh, kind of in the uh, janitorial world, I guess we call it, or the commercial cleaning field, uh, for over twenty years now. Um, started, I was an operations manager years ago. Moved into a director of operations position for a uh, national company for a number of years. Um, I kind of moved on from there and actually owned my own janitorial company. Really? Um, for quite a few years as well. Um, things, I had something kind of change on me and a um, had a client move, a pretty large client of mine. And I had some friends on the supply side of the industry that provided supplies. They said, why don't you come over here to the dark side? So, <laughs> so, so we kind of moved over um, and I went to the supply side for about eight years um, and sold all the equipment and everything else. Um, and then I saw the opportunity with uh, Goodwill uh, become available and more so with Goodwill, um, it was about the mission. Um, I couldn't believe that I could kind of use my background and my expertise to provide something that was really worthwhile uh, to, to get something out of it. So Tim Party. So Tim, so you, you were an entrepreneur at one point. I was um, still am at heart. And um, uh, still do it. Uh, the great thing about, uh, you know, Ed Lotta, our CEO here, who, who you've met. Um, I, have I met him? I have definitely met him. Yeah. <laughs> Ed is a great guy. He and I went through a, a leadership program together. And he, uh, man, he, he loves to be involved. And he's always thinking about, like, ways to be innovative and, and grow as a human being, as well as as a CEO and president. So he's, uh, he's pretty active out there. Yeah, one of the one of the great things about Ed was, you know, one of the things I caught from him in the very beginning is he said, "My legacy is I want to leave as many CEOs behind as I can uh, <laughs> when I leave this deal." And so the great thing about it, you talk about the entrepreneur, all of our directors in Goodwill, including myself, um, were were kind of put out there to run our own segment of the business as it is our own, and. Uh, it's great. It gives us the uh, the freedom to have that entrepreneurial spirit to come up with new ideas, 
um, and, and to expand on what we do. So, um, so it's a great place to work. And you're in your, uh, your company and, and what you worked in janitorial, like, I mean, it just seems to me that as an entrepreneur in that industry, man, you really have to, you really have to be really good at what you do because I mean, it's probably a very thankless job. I mean, it, it, at some points because of, you know, if you work in a big office uh, or in an office setting and you, you know, you leave the office at whatever, six o'clock and then you come back the next day and the trash is taken out, the place is clean. Uh, you know, people just really don't think about how important that is. And it's just kind of par for the course, you know, with some of these big companies, you know. Yeah, it really is. And and it's funny you use that because we use that phrase a lot, the thankless job. But it, it it's it's funny because we're the first ones that people miss if they don't have a product <laughs> in a in a restroom or something that fact. But um yeah, it's uh, it's a very competitive field. Um, there are a lot of different commercial cleaning companies and entities out there. Um, so it's highly competitive. I think the thing that makes us really unique and different is our mission um, and, and where the money that we generate and where it's going. It, it's not uh, for a profit um, to go and expand and build um, a CEO and their yachts and palaces. <laughs> this, <laughs> this actually goes back to a, uh, a mission of helping people, empowering right. people. That's the key. And we're going to talk about that on this uh, show today. We're going to get into some programs that, that you're engaged with. Uh, some of them are obviously involved with the federal government. We're going to talk about some of the success stories. We're going to learn more about kind of how Goodwill engages. Uh, again, the website is most. Can goodwill.org. Uh, okay, I'm back. Uh, Tim Party again, he's with us. He's the director of contracts and services at Goodwill. Their website is mocangoodwill.org. Um, yeah, so uh, another thing too, I get calls a lot, Tim, um, from uh, janitorial services uh, to clean, to, to work with my business. And I, I have to tell them, like, you know, I'm a, I'm a consulting firm. I'm a one man band a lot of times. So, um, but they just keep calling. So it, it must be pretty competitive. It is, it is. And, and, you know, everybody, uh, every industry that that's the great thing about this industry is it really is kind of recession proof. Um, it was, really? it, it was COVID proof. I mean, when, when people were being laid off their jobs and, and, and let go through the midst of COVID people needed cleaning more than ever. Um, and, and so it just kind of expanded what we did. And so, so the industry overall is, is highly competitive, but having that mission makes a difference. I love it. I love it. Tim is joining us today. Tim Party, Director of Contracts and Services. We're going to learn more about what that actually means, uh, kind of more about what Goodwill is doing, some of their key missions and visions, uh, as well as like, again, how, how your past work has really kind of motivated you and and uh, the work experience really has changed things and helped you grow into this position you have now, uh, giving back at Goodwill. You're listening to the Grill Nation show here on 980 AM on podcasts as well as on our website. And I appreciate those watching us on live stream or on my YouTube page. Just search for Jason Grill and the Grill Nation show on YouTube. You'll find all of our shows there. We'll be right back. Thanks for joining us today. <clears throat> Tim, I was in a, I, I just we're during a break night right now, but I just wanted to make sure I wasn't butchering your last name. It it, it sounds as it's is it is it spelled as it sounds? Uh, Pardee. Yeah. Yep. That's a cool last name. <laughs> <laughs> I get that a lot, actually. Yeah. <laughs> last name. Um, okay, so as soon as we tape that first segment, we'll go into two. This is a longer one, so please please be expansive on some of their answers on sure. some of these questions about the mission. Um, and then as soon as Darren gives his heads up, we'll go from there. But uh, thanks for your flexibility this week. Uh, we wanted to make sure we could get you guys on uh, and get you on too. Yeah, thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, I just happened to be out of town a couple of days this week, so – I, uh, I'm glad you were able to adjust. Yeah, so yeah. Know. And uh, we'll be able to share the show many more times throughout the week now that we're doing it earlier. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Were you um, were you at the uh, the New Year's, or excuse me, the New Orleans-style uh, uh, 
deal that you had at your office. Uh, yeah, the kingfish boil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I was. Yeah, I had uh, several of my employees were there because they've been around for over fifteen years. So, well, that it's yeah. I'll, uh, I might I might bring that up on the show here, but we are ready to roll here in three, two, one. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to today's Grill Nation show. I'm your host, Jason Grill. Thanks for joining us today on KMBZ 980 AM if you're joining on the radio. If you're on podcast networks, uh, we're on all of them. We appreciate you joining us uh, on podcasts, and as well, we also, also appreciate you joining us on our website, grillnationshow.com, uh, and thank you to all the people who have watched our uh, shows on YouTube as well as our sneak peeks on YouTube. Greatly appreciate that. Uh, Tim Party, yes, that is his last name, <laughs> is with us from Goodwill. Uh, he is the Director of Contracts and Services at Mocan Goodwill. Their website is mocangoodwill.org. Uh, just an awesome website. You can learn more about Goodwill, and, and it's fascinating all the work you guys do. Uh, I was unaware until I really got to know Ed and others at the organization of all the different things you do. Yeah. Um, let's talk first about kind of um, your role. So define for me and the listeners kind of what a director of contracts and services does at Goodwill. Yeah. So basically, when, when people think about Goodwill, um, the misconception a lot of people have is that they think retail. They think all the retail stores and that's what we do. Um, there's actually a lot of other facets um, that we're involved in. Um, and these deal with different contracts and so forth. And I oversee that division. So um, we have contracts currently with the uh, federal government as far as um, janitorial services uh, and supplies that we provide to them. Um, we have done, when COVID first struck us, we did a, uh, a mask manufacturing. Uh, we were actually manufacturing masks in-house. Mm -hmm. Um, with seamstress people and so forth. And we had, um, we doesn't, had that seem, doesn't that seem Tim like, I mean, when you think back to when that first happened uh -huh. and you're like, man, we're being very entrepreneurial. And now it's like, it feels like that was like a decade ago. Oh, it does. <laughs> it does. I know. And now masks are kind of coming back around. Yeah. Unfortunately. Also, right. Yeah, it's like, what do we do now? <laughs> so, I'm to interrupt you, but when you said that, I, I remember, I remember talking to. Uh, I think I actually might have gotten a mask from you guys, or I bought some, or donated something, and uh, yeah, and I just remember Ed talking about that, and I, I feels like that was, you know, uh, ten years ago. So, anyways, go on. Yeah, go that. I apologize for the interruption. No, no, it's totally fine. <laughs> we, um, but that, that's pretty much, you know, that, that encompasses my job. I also oversee the safety uh, for our entire company. So that includes a retail division as well. Um, so anything dealing with uh, store inspections uh, from new store startups, uh, which we have coming soon, and um, anything related uh, that would get us involved in any type of contract or service involved, I oversee that process. Hmm. A lot of stuff goes on with that, right? A lot of documentation, just uh, just a ton of, uh, you know, you got you to gotta get new business, I guess, whatever you call it in the nonprofit world, but more and more services and contracts set up. So, yeah, um, and that's it. Something we've kind of expanded into is outside. Uh, when I came to work for the company, um, we had uh, just the federal contracts. Mm -hmm. And we have since, uh, obviously, wanting to drive more revenue for our mission, we have expanded out into um, the regular commercial cleaning world. So so even outside of what we call our Ability One program, which I'll talk to you about later, um, it, it gets into the regular janitorial uh, commercial cleaning process with other companies uh, around the city. That's great information. Uh, Tim Party is with us. Um, you've only been at Goodwill since 2020, June. So you, you're, you've been there over a year now. What, what has your time been like so far? Uh, you know, my, my time has been, you know, amazing. Um, it, it's to be surrounded. I've never worked for a company where you're surrounded by a group of people, um, who truly feel it's about people. And, um, you know, a lot of times in the corporate world, I know you can kind of get lost as, as a number or uh, this or that, 
but we we truly are surrounded by people every day that are striving in different ways in different departments um all for the same thing and that's to empower and help people and so that to me was what sold me um on this position and coming to work for goodwill uh because just just the amount of work that they were doing uh to help others there's just there's no better feeling in life honestly than to work and do what you're uh, what you're supposedly good at, and then to have the turnaround of not only doing a good job, but to know that you literally change lives. Wow. Well said. I couldn't agree more. Um, you, uh, Your key missions and values are really important. How, and how do they relate to your work? Because you know, I'm on the website right now, mocangoodwill.org, mm -hmm. and your, your, your mission is to empower people to discover their potential and adapt for the future through the power of work. And, you know, obviously you have five values uh, statements on there. But again, the vision is you will build sustainable and prosperous communities. Talk to us about how that that mission, that value, that vision kind of intersects with what you do with your uh, role and work. Yeah. So so our mission statement to empower people to work, it's exactly what I do every day. Um, it, it is, you know, we take people in who otherwise in society may be considered lesser or maybe not as good. And we turn that whole thought process around. Um, we, we take these people and we will put them through uh, training programs if need be. Um, we have a, a case manager uh, that actually works for me on staff. And this case manager will get involved with any special training needs we have. Or sometimes it's talking um, to that person's uh, family or parents or people that have supported them all the way through to now. And they'll chat with them and uh, our case manager will help them through that process. And we put these people to work and actually get them out. And, and the great thing that some people don't realize is there's a misconception of when people think persons with disabilities, they think, well, not quite as good, or maybe maybe the job won't be as great. <laughs> Contradictory, it's quite the opposite. Um, we have superb longevity and retention in our employees, which is incredible. Um, and then you always talk about, uh, people always say, you know, love what you do and, uh, and, you know, give all you got. We don't see that anymore than our persons with disabilities. They come to work and they're so anxious and, and happy about the opportunity to do what they do that they get involved um, and they just love it. And it shows in their work and uh, and we retain them and help them continue to build into other things. So it's fantastic. I love it. Um, you obviously talked in the first segment about your, your past job and your past work and company. Um, how has that helped you to be successful in your role at Goodwill uh, throughout this last year? Sure. Yeah. Well, coming, uh, coming from the industry, um, I've had from being on both sides, the janitorial side, the supply side, um, I've had a lot of relationships with different manufacturers um, in this industry, um, as well as I also attended the uh, Pisdick Institute and became lean certified. Mm. Uh, so when you think about Six Sigma, lean, those type of things, um, I went to school and actually learned how to lean the process of cleaning and supplies and so forth. So it kind of gives me an edge and advantage uh, when we're talking to companies that instead of getting that phone call, like you're getting all the time from uh, companies yeah. calling you to clean, instead of just saying, hey, Jason, we want to clean your office. Um, I actually talk to them about ways we can be more efficient, um, ways that we can um, help them save on the bottom line when we come in. So, so that background and, and, and that past has helped me uh, translate over to here um, in doing this. And then from a leadership role, I am the type that um, I, it, no, nothing is beneath me. If I can't pick up a mop and a broom and go to work with these guys, um, then I'm no better than anybody else. And, and so to have that, um, it, and lead with that has always helped me in the past and it's translated well here in, in our training values and things we do with persons with disabilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta be a part of that team and, 
and lead by example, Tim. And I think you're doing that. Tim Party, Director of Contracts uh, at uh, Mocan Goodwill. Uh, what uh, what are some challenges that you face, Tim, in the day to day at uh, with what you're trying to build and what you're trying to do? Yeah, so I would say um, one of the biggest challenges is probably just educating people um, on our mission and what we do. I, I think that um, the general population or society just um, doesn't have a clear understanding um, as much about uh, persons with disabilities and, and how to work with those people. And, and I think that uh, some people kind of get the misconception of there is a um, there's a lot of work that goes behind that or or uh, we have to do things differently. And it's just not the case. Um, these are uh, people that, that just happen to have uh, some type of disability or, or something holding them uh, back just a bit. And, and we work through those things with them. And um, it, it, it turns out to be just great for everybody. Um, the, these people become involved in our clients. Um, we, we've had, uh, we just had a gentleman that retired after 30 years um, in, in one place uh, with, with our organization. And to see that kind of longevity, you don't see that anywhere anymore. Um, and, and those people, those clients, uh, they, they just love him. Uh, they loved him and, and what he did. So, um, so I think more than anything, it's just understanding what it is we do and understanding that it's no different than what you're already getting. Uh, and in some respects, it's even better. Tim Party, Director of Contracts and Services at Goodwill of Western Missouri and Eastern Kansas, is our guest today on the Grill Nation show. Be right back after the break. I want to talk more about, on the flip side, what are some opportunities that you see and get into the Ability One program and how you interface with that at the organization. Thanks to all those for joining us today on the Grill Nation show. We'll be right back. Okay. Great. <laughs> okay, we're flying through the show. So we'll continue on with another longer segment, Tim. Okay. Um, and uh, 11 minutes and 40 seconds. I'm going to look at our brand here. Might change that. do that okay Tim where are you from originally uh, I'm from Kansas City yeah oh. I was born and raised in Independence Missouri I always ask that and I forgot to ask that of you because you know if people move here it, it somehow at some point in their life, they'll move here when, when they get married or they went to college here or they, yeah, their wife's from here. And then it's always like they end up staying here um, or they're, they're new here and they, they, uh, they're loving Kansas city. So I, I like to hear if they're natives or transplants, I guess. Yeah, I'm definitely a native and I, I really can't see myself anywhere else. I, I, love, I love Kansas city. That's good. Okay. We're ready to roll here <clears throat> in three, Two, one. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to today's Grill Nation show. I appreciate you again joining us uh, each and every week, whether you're watching us on our live stream or you're listening to the radio on KMBZ 980 AM, or if you've joined us via podcast network, we greatly appreciate it. Uh, you can connect with us again all over social media on Twitter at Jason Grill and at Grill Nation Show, on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn as well, and you can listen to all our podcasts. Uh, and shows on the website, grillnationshow.com. I uh, want to thank all of our collaborators as well. Uh, really appreciate it. You provide great content and great shows. This show's all about the, uh, the guests and the mission and the work that they're doing. So we just try to showcase them. And one of the great organizations in our community uh, is uh, in uh, many region, many, many counties throughout this region is uh, Mocan Goodwill. Uh, Missouri, uh, their website, excuse me, is mocangoodwill.org, uh, Goodwill of Western Missouri and Eastern Kansas. We're joined today by Tim Party, who is the Director of Contracts and Services of the organization. 
Tim, we were talking about some of the challenges you face. Um, let's talk about real, real quickly some of the opportunities that exist in our region that affect your work and things that you think we could uh, could really kind of seize the day on with some exciting opportunities. Yeah, so you know, our um, we have different divisions within the company, obviously that work on different things, work workforce development, um, those kind of things. Um, you know, one of the um, one of the big things here is, and I mentioned it briefly earlier, is that our industry on the contract side, especially with the janitorial field, it is, um, it's it's kind of recession proof. We, we don't really see a decline when things change. Uh, people just want their facilities cleaned. So the opportunities it presents to us um, as we continue to train and bring on more people, more staff, um, we're able to go into a lot of different industries, uh, manufacturing, education, um, typical office buildings. We're able to go into a lot of places and be able to do what we do. Um, and it's great because even though our, um, our company as a whole, Mocan Goodwill, is innovative with um, dealing with things like our Artemis program, they're getting into robotics and, and all kinds of things. Um, Still, there is a big need for what we do here in the commercial cleaning side and dealing with that. So it's um, it, it's definitely something that presents a big opportunity for us to grow. And just like retail does and so forth, giving a big part and giving it back to that mission. Uh, because as everybody knows, uh, you know, Goodwill, 88 cents of every dollar goes back into our mission. Mm hmm. Uh, Tim, you uh, briefly mentioned the Ability One program. Let's talk about that. Uh, what is the first off? What is the Ability One program uh, in general? Yeah, so the Ability One program um, is among the nation's largest sources of employment for people who have significant disabilities. So mm -hmm. it's administered by the U.S. Ability One Commission. Uh, so it's uh, federally mandated. Um, and through a national network of nonprofits like Mocan Goodwill, the program provides uh, the federal government with products, services, and so forth. So we, as Ability One at Mocan Goodwill, we have contracts with the uh, Richard Bowling Federal Building in downtown Kansas City, the gigantic building you see down there. And then at the uh, Fort Leavenworth military base in Leavenworth, Kansas, um, we also clean those facilities up there. When you think about a military base, it's like its own city. Um, and it's over a million square feet that we clean every single day up there. Wow. So these are just more opportunities uh, for people uh, with disabilities to get involved uh, and to work. And I just, I, you know, I, I was not aware of this Ability One program. And again, their website is abilityone.gov. But um, the fact that you guys are engaged with such large uh, organizations and, and federal got federal organizations and it's just incredible. Uh, it just yeah. leads to so many more opportunities, I would believe, uh, for the folks that you serve. It does. It, it you know, and it definitely opens doors for us. One of the things that um, that people don't see behind the scenes is through Ability One, uh, we have what's called a CARF accreditation. And that accreditation holds us to a higher standard. We go through a stringent audit process um, with them to make sure that we are meeting certain uh, labor ratios of persons with disabilities within our organization, that we're maintaining those, um, that we have everything in place, um, things that you think of in a building from uh, tornado and fire drill evacuation charts to SDS sheets to all kinds of things that we go through. And CARF actually um, will either not give you an accreditation, they give you a one-year accreditation, or the gold star is a three-year accreditation. And we just completed another three-year accreditation uh, with CARF, um, which is outstanding for our organization as a whole. So, so us being held to a higher standard Mm -hmm. um, really gives credit to the people involved and, and how we're running the organization because we're being held to that standard by the federal government. Mm -hmm. Tim Party is with us, Director of Contracts and Services at Mocan Goodwill. 
Uh, Tim, you talked about the fact that you not only provide these services to the to through the federal government and federal agencies, but also through uh, non governmental businesses. And I think there's there's a lot of potential for that to grow. Um, just touch on that for you know a few minutes here, a few seconds here about kind of it's not just this; it's also private as well. Sure. Yeah. So one of the things that I'm tasked with uh, as a director of contracts is to grow that operation. And so one of the things that that we are doing is going into uh, just the commercial sector of what we do and taking this out. And there there are a lot of companies out there that um, that want to give back to community and want to help. And so this is one way that they can really help by involving in something they already need, which is cleaning services and so forth, and letting us come in and use uh, persons with disabilities and use our programs to help enhance their business, as well as it gives them a chance to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. I love it. I think it's a no-brainer for more organizations in our community if they're listening to get involved um, and, and to work with goodwill. Um, what does providing uh, people with disabilities these opportunities to acquire job schools and training and receive good wages and benefits, uh, so forth and so on, and gain more of a greater independence really kind of mean to you and what you do? Well, it's everything to me. I mean, that that's the whole reason I came to work for Goodwill. Um, there are plenty of opportunities out there uh, to run janitorial companies, to um, to supply companies and do those kind of things, but not one of them uh, has the mission that we have. And so being involved here and being, uh, being in a job that I get up to work for every day, knowing that today, no matter what, I'm changing someone's life. And, um, and to get up every day having that feeling, there's nothing better than that. So I, I, um, I, I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah. when you when you get in that client grind and the consulting grind and working with companies and it, you know it just doesn't give you the same amount and that and that's why i've joined some boards tim it's because you really need that uh uh activity in your life i mean to, to have purpose and meaning absolutely and so it's pretty cool you get to do that on a daily basis i i i really i think that's awesome <laughs> um Innovative trends. Do you see any trends kind of coming with regards to uh, ways that we could fix some problems that exist in today's today's world with, you know, workforce development or economic sustainability? Um, I know you guys focus a lot on that at Goodwill, but it seems to me that we're we're being pretty innovative here in our region. We do, you know, and, and you know, one of the things Goodwill uh, with the sustainability piece is, you know, we deliver uh, more than 14 million pounds of donated materials um, to resell, reuse, recycle. Uh, we're actually a gold medal winner uh, with the Kansas City Industrial Council wow. um, as a leader in sustainability. So that's that's a big deal for us. Um, community outreach is the other one. You know, um, one of the things that's really cool, I don't know if you had the chance to see it yet, um, but we just finished our uh, Mocan Goodwill mobile unit hmm. and it is a large um rv and we have the ability now to go out into communities for people that can't reach us sometimes um we go out in the communities and this mobile unit is stacked with uh computers it has training screens everything inside so that we can go out to the community and do on-site training help people with areas that they may need growth and so forth. And so it's a very innovative way for us to go out and um, reach those people that can't always get to us. Hmm. What a great idea. Um, is that something you want to expand on? I, I know that obviously in the next uh, you know few years, Ed will probably have more and more new ideas, but what are you most excited about kind of working on now, introducing or expanding? Because that I didn't even know about that truck. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So in short, uh, all of them. Um, I, I, I can't say I'm most excited about one. Um, I will tell you that, um, you know, uh, one of the things Ed as a CEO, he, he definitely is into um, innovation and, and, you know, expanding and those type of things, uh, which is all mission driven, obviously. But 
but he is definitely open to new ideas and uh, people that bring those ideas uh, into the house. So, so having, having our mobile unit, um, you know, is great for us. Um, the Artemis program, uh, we're, we're getting into training, you know, artificial intelligence to robotics um, that are training, uh, training a robot how to recognize that Jason is wearing a men's uh, medium uh, blue and white striped shirt, um, you know, to have a robot be able to tell you that kind of thing and, and to teach people and empower them uh, persons with disabilities to have these skills to run these operations um, is complete innovation within itself. Well, Tim, you really knocked that one out of the park because I've worn this shirt in a year or two and I put it on today and I'm like, wow, it's, it is a medium and it is blue and white. That's right. <laughs> um, Tim Party is our guest, Director of Contracts and Services at Mocan Goodwill. Their website is mocangoodwill.org. We'll be right back with more on the Grill Nation show. Thanks for listening or watching today. We greatly appreciate it. Okay. One last segment, Tim. Sure. We're doing, you're doing a great job. I appreciate, this is some really good information and it's just amazing to me how much, uh, how many, pro, how many uh, programs and opportunities and different things that you all do on a daily basis. Yeah, it's incredible. And, you know, and, and me, me being involved on the contract side, I, I don't get to, um, I'm on the mission team, but I'm not um, in those everyday mission meetings. So even me, sometimes I come into those meetings. I'm like, wow, we're doing this, <laughs> you yeah. know? And so yeah. it's incredible to see even the other facets that, that go on that I don't even get to see all the time. So, yeah. And I had never been into your office on in the East Crossroads, but it's pretty cool too. Yeah. Yeah. It's very uh, kind of modern uh, yeah. uh, looking. So yeah. Yeah, it's great. And you're in such a good location. That's a growing area that's, um, you know, going to continue to grow. And uh, I, I, you're, you're kind of really close to like 18th and Vine, yet you're, you're very close to like the, the, the West Crossroads and, you know, in the Crossroads area. So it's a, it's a good spot. And you're close to the roads and the highways and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's fantastic. And we have a lot of people. We're close to some communities right there where a lot of people come. And, oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, we, we, we get knocks on the door every day. <laughs> for people coming to have us, you know, help with, uh, help with something. And, and, and we're always willing to, uh, to do that. So it's great. We're going to get going here on our last segment of the show for today oh. and we'll do our sneak peek. Um, give me one second here. Sure. I'll take a drink when you do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So here we go. And three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to today's Grill Nation show. Thanks for joining us on the radio, on podcast, on uh, our website, on our YouTube page, or on our social media live streams. We greatly appreciate it. It's been a great show today with Tim Party, who's the Director of Contracts and Services at Mocan Goodwill. Again, the website uh, is mocangoodwill.org. Just a great organization in our community that's doing a uh, multiple things to help out uh they're not just the retail locations that you that you might have heard of uh the other stuff that they do uh, is just is just incredible all the work that they do in our community and all this all the support and services that they do to help lift people up and to build a sustainable workforce and economic sustainability tim uh best for last segment these are uh questions more about to learn more about you and kind of what you like and, and, uh, best advice, Tim, like what, what is the best advice you've received from a mentor on your career journey? Wow. I think the best advice was probably that, uh, respect isn't demanded, it's earned. And, um, I, you know, I'm willing to jump in and do anything necessary to get the job done with my people. Mm -hmm. And I think leading by example builds more respect than anything. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that, too many bosses, a lot of times they feel that respect is just demanded. Um, I don't think it is. I, I think it has to be earned. And I think your people have to trust you. Uh, and then you get a good organization of people working for you. That's a great thing to remember. And sometimes, you know, as you get older, you, you tend to forget. And so I, uh, I, I, I really enjoyed that answer. I, I think it, I think it really is important to remember that. And uh, no matter what you're doing. 
and yeah. just keep just keep just keep working hard and and, and, and rolling up your sleeves. Uh, you mentioned you were a lifelong Kansas City and uh, on the break. Uh, what what makes you excited about Kansas City and where things are trending? Yeah, so um, you know Kansas City to me has always been near and dear to my heart. I, I think I think the Midwest is full of heart. Uh, we're, we're not called the heartland for nothing. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think we have the biggest hearts here in the Midwest and it really coincides with what we're doing in trying to uh, provide a mission, provide a service to people um, and empower people. So I think that uh, from that standpoint, there's no better place to be than Kansas city for that. People are willing to open their doors, open their ears uh, and their hearts when they're thinking about people um, in need or organizations that might need help. Um, Kansas City always shows up for those kind of things, whether it be a charity organization, a nonprofit like ourselves. Um, we are just a great city in that respect for showing up for people. Completely agree. Uh, what's one word to describe you, Tim? Persistent. <laughs> I, I am the type, uh, I don't give up. I, I am very persistent and um, I, I'm up for any challenge and I, you know, I, I go to win. So I, I don't give up easily. So and you uh, are you are you competitive and uh, perfectionist or just persistent in like getting things done and accomplished or all of the above? Yeah, I'm kind of a perfectionist, too. Uh, my, my wife would say I'm very perfectionist about my yard. Oh, and, yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. You got to be. Right, right. But uh, but it is it, it, it's definitely um, the competitive spirit drives me. And I even I even um, have that within my people internally. We have internal little friendly competitions with each other. And I give away prizes. I just took a group uh, to the Royals game a few weeks ago uh, for winning the uh, competitive prize. And, and uh, it's called Kudos at the K. Nice. And so, um, yeah, so things like that, I think, just drives good, healthy spirits and, um, and keeps you on your toes. I'd like to hear, uh, Tim, about one transformation of an individual business or community uh, that you will never forget uh, that really impacted you, a success story, if you will. Yeah, I think um, one most recently, really, uh, we have a gentleman named Cecil uh, that works for me down at the uh, federal building and been there a number of years. Um, he was recently chosen to represent us uh, in our Ability One National Conference, where we have uh, many elected officials uh, from all over the government that uh, attend this conference. And Cecil... Um, said, yes, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll try this. He came on board. He met with Kristen, who is another director for organization. They did a lot of talking about it. They had business cards made up for him. Uh, he dressed all up, got ready for the gig. And it was, it was absolutely fantastic. He, a transformation after that, he came to work with such a sense of pride and he was handing out his business cards to all his coworkers. And um, it, it really, you could see a change in him. And he is literally a spokesperson um, for Goodwill now uh, because of going through this. He is always at the front line of helping his peers. And it, so it really changed him in a lot of ways to be so involved in something so big. And, um, and to see that transformation in somebody is absolutely incredible. Wow. I love it. I love to hear these stories, man. We could have talked for the whole show about some of these stories that they use <laughs> on a regular basis. What, uh, what, uh, who's a role model of yours or somebody that, uh, a current or former colleague that you learned from or really admire, or maybe just somebody in your life throughout your journey, uh, that has really kind of impacted you as a role model? You know, there are a lot. Um, there are a lot of them. And, and I, I don't really narrow it to one role model. Um, I am one that, I'm a big believer in success breeds success. And so you surround yourself with the right people. Um, and I've always been kind of successful at doing that. Um, if I don't know something, I go to somebody that's successful at doing that or does know. Um, and I track them down and I follow them. Um, and uh, not stalking, but, <laughs> but, but 
but I do follow them and um, and learn from them. And and there's many people that have been in my life along the way that that I have just um, been a vacuum of information from them and and, and sucking that out. So it's um, it's been great. Um, I've had some great influential people even here at Mocan Goodwill. I, I could name two or three with our company now that are just people that I want to learn from every day and get as much information I can to help me grow. Tim Party is with us from Mocan Goodwill, Director of Contracts and Services there. Uh, Tim, what is uh, one meal in Kansas City that if you had a pick or, or you know, obviously you had you had to choose something, somebody was visiting or you, you, had, a, you had a last meal, where would it be and, and why? Well, first of all, do you even have to ask? It's barbecue in Kansas yeah. City, right? <laughs> I, I am where a big going, fan. Tim. Where are you going? That's the uh, You know, I, I am a big fan of uh, Q39. Wow, I uh, like that. Yeah, I'm I'm a big fan of theirs. I, I think they have some amazing food there. Um, so, um, and hopefully, we'll talk about it enough. They'll sponsor the show for you. Yeah, yeah I need to get. <laughs> had them on the show before actually there we go there we go yeah no, they're, they're, they're owner on um i also want to try the slaps barbecue i've not been there yet but i know that it's it's extremely highly rated from friends that come in town that are from kansas city and they they come back in town to visit their family and they they literally just like go to like 10 barbecue restaurants when they come back because they don't have any in whatever yeah. city they live in um so that's a good answer and the last question i have is if if you could, uh, if you could have dinner with one person, uh, who would it be and why? Who? Maybe was if you're having barbecue with one person, who who would you like to be? You mentioned you like to you like to suck information and follow <laughs> it and learn from people. And if, if, if maybe you'd have a few people there, I don't know. Sounds yeah, like yeah, you know, there probably would be a few people there. But if I had to narrow it down to one, I, one person that that um, that really stands out is Steve Jobs. Mm-hmm. Uh, from Apple, I you know I did, I just feel like he changed the way you know this wasn't a guy that was a computer or engineering genius by any means. He had people around him to do that, but he saw the big vision. He saw the big picture, and most importantly, what he did, like with Apple, um, he, he looked at it from a consumer perspective, and he said, "What are people going to like? What are people going to love?" And I look at all my products; I probably have everything owned by Apple. Um, and I look at my products and I think, wow, you know, this, it, this was really made for me, <laughs> you know? And, yeah. And, and to, to, to sit down and have dinner with somebody with that kind of vision yeah. would be incredible. Tim Party is with us. Uh, great guest today, a director of uh, contracts and services at Mocan Goodwill. That's Goodwill, Western Missouri and Eastern Kansas. Website, again, is mocangoodwill.org, a, a, just a fantastic organization in our region doing great work and helping so many individuals. Um, I really appreciate you coming on the show today, uh, Tim, and uh, congrats on all your success and what you're doing to change lives. Thanks so much for having me. Th this has been fantastic, and, and thanks for helping us yeah. spread the word about our mission. Of course, of course. And I thanks the listeners and watchers for joining us today. We will see you again next week. Take care and have a good week. Talk to you soon. Okay, we have finished our lot, our taping for the radio show uh, in record time, Tim. So you're uh, very prepared, and candor was great. And uh, we're going to do our sneak peek segment now, which we'll tape for our social media. Uh, okay. I'll ask you one question, and uh, we want to keep the answer to under around two minutes. Okay. Um, I will uh, identify a question here. And um, what what is one topic we discussed that you think uh, you really want to share on like a quick two minute bite about uh, what you do? I mean, is it, it do you want to do you want to stress kind of how you provide opportunities to the less fortunate and what that means to you? Or do you want to stress ability one or maybe do you just want to talk about um, some of the. Uh, you know, the story about Cecil, what, what, what in two minutes do you think is, is kind of the most important uh, tidbit that you want to get across? Yeah. So, um, and I'll tee it up for you. Yeah, probably. Um, I mean, we can, we can say something about the ability one, cause I can, I can pretty much encompass everything okay. in that. Got it. Uh, in two minutes. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'll I'll uh, I'll, uh, I'll I'll let me put that up here. Okay, I will pop it up here in a second. Okay. Okay, so we will get started here. And. Three, two, one. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this Grill Nation show sneak peek. I am joined by Tim Party, who's the Director of Contracts and Services at Mocan Goodwill. Their website is mocangoodwill.org. One question, Tim. What is the Ability One program, and how does Goodwill change lives through it? Yeah, so our Ability One program is a federally mandated program, um, and it's all about um, empowering people with disabilities to work. And it's really the foundation for what we do in our contracts division. Um, we take individuals with certain disability needs, we bring them in, we give them the proper training, um, we have caseworkers that will work with them. And uh, we empower them to go to work and we go out and we find um, positions within our federal government, such as the federal building, the military bases, any uh, federal property that will employ um, these individuals and give them a fair wage, uh, a fair earning um, and really help them grow in their own lives. And, and really that's all about Goodwill's mission. And what we do is to help those people grow and expand um, through our Ability One program and uh, it, with our federal government. You do a lot of great things at, at Goodwill. The website is mocangoodwill.org. We're gonna talk all about that on this week's Grill Nation show with Tim Party, who's the Director of Contracts and Services. We're gonna get through kind of what his division does how they help individuals, all the different programs and services they provide, as well as getting to know Tim and uh, some of his favorite things and learn more about how his background and work experience has really impacted him with his role at uh, Mocan Goodwill. Thanks for joining us for this one question Grill Nation show sneak peek. As always, connect with me on social media on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, wherever we are on social media, you can find us uh, at Jason Grill and at Grill Nation show. We'll see you soon. Thanks for joining us for this one question sneak peek. Okay. Well, Tim, I appreciate it. Let me uh, let me make sure our photo was good. That'll work. Um, okay. Uh, hold on one second. <laughs> 